Um, you know, uh, great win for our team. Uh, heck of a way for, for these three guys to uh, finish up uh, at, 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 uh, at Chartway. Uh, you know, thrilled in, in, in the fact that, you know, CJ made the play. That, that was the one that, that we hadn't had on a number of times this year. And he really attacked the basket, which is exactly how we would have drawn it up. And, you know, had it been a jump shot, Austin couldn't have followed up because his man would have checked him out. So the fact that CJ, you know, was, was, was aggressive, he took it in. At least two guys came over to try to uh, contest the shot. And that, you know, that allowed Austin to have the space and, and he, he made the, you know, the, the big time play. So that was our 16th offensive rebound. And that was a big one, obviously. Um, you were going to the tournament with some momentum. I mean, this is the I think the way you'd want to go into it, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's it's a hell of a lot better than going, you know, with 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 a loss. But <laughs> you know, the one of the things that I'll keep reminding these guys is that we were playing our best basketball of the season down the stretch last year, and for whatever reason, we did not have it against North Texas. Uh, you know, we 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 really struggled. We, you know, we we didn't look in sync. Um, and so I, I say that I'm not trying to be negative, but this game, you know, if, if, if it gives us momentum, that's great. But our, our preparation, our mental outlook going in, being excited to play. You know, I, I don't know if it's the 8 o'clock time. I think we were the 8 o'clock game last year, too. You know, we've already talked about do we, do we try to change things up so, you know, we're not just sitting around waiting for the game. The last thing we need to be, right, is, is nervous and tight. That, that's, everybody else has got to play us. They are the ones that should be nervous. All right, we got nothing to lose. No, absolutely nothing. So we're going to go out. We're going to just just lay it out there. And uh, you know, if teams that are higher seeds are, are, are worried, that that that's great. But we just want to come out and play play the way we're capable of playing. You know, let the the, the result will take care of itself. There have been some games this year where you guys haven't played well down the stretch. This game, you got down by I think six, seven points, and you came back. Yeah, and we've had some other games where we've 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 come back too. Um, but yeah, I mean, we we haven't, you know, we we we've been inconsistent, and and part of that inconsistency was building a lead and not finishing strong, um, you know. But there's been some other times, and certainly today was was one of them where these guys knuckled down. We got the big stops, and and, and you know, might not have been any really pretty baskets, but you know, we were able to to conjure up enough, you know, offense and. Uh, you know, uh, again, I, I think our thing is it, when when we work, when we're in it, and we're not worried about stuff, and we're focused. You know, um, that's that's when we can do do good stuff. That's when we can be successful. When we're in a work mood, when we're you know, when we're tough, when we're energetic, um, you know, and, and and everybody's you know pulling the the same direction. That's that that's when we're successful. Austin, you had a you had a tough day today. A lot of frustrations. It looked like uh, at least one of the fouls wasn't you know wasn't a great call, and then you get the dunk. What did that feel like? It felt amazing. It felt amazing. I felt like you know <clears throat> I felt like I wasn't able to back CJ up uh, and my other teammates up how I wanted to you know uh, offensively scoring wise and stuff like that. So you know I just felt like I needed to focus on rebounding and. You know, when CJ got the ball on that last possession, I saw the look in his, in, in his eyes. I wanted him to go score. And my whole thing was just, you know, whatever happens, I'm going to be right there to rebound, regardless if he makes it or not. It'd be a hell of a lot different feeling if you had gotten 30 points and we'd lost. Yeah. Not in a good way. <laughs> I'd rather just like this. Yeah. CJ, did, did, did coach tell you to drive? At that point, or did you just? I mean, he ain't had I've to. been telling him all year. <laughs> yeah, he has, but he ain't even have to. I'm taking that thing to the cup. But just what you said to Austin, uh, I feel like even though he didn't score uh, 18, I don't know if he had a double or double, but I feel like he played amazing, uh, making plays, passing the ball, uh, setting really good screens, and just out there giving energy and effort. Um, I feel like we did that across the board, um, and I feel like it. It, it was our way today. Jeff, all the seniors contributed. AJ had that uh, that block, big block. I mean, that's the way you want to go out, isn't it? I think so. 
I think so. I mean, he, he probably would, would, would like to have gone out with a dunk or something like that. But you know what? I think it was apropos that he made the big defensive play. Um, we, we decided kind of down the stretch. Um, part of it was the fact that, that Kalu and Austin both had four fouls. That was part of it. But we thought defensively we were better going small. And so that's why AJ was in there. And, and obviously, he came up with a, you know, with, with, with a big play to, to come up with, with the ball. And all the three seniors, can you sort of just put in a few sentences just what today meant for you and sort of you know your thoughts about your last game? AJ. Um, last home AJ. game. Last home game, excuse me. Um, <clears throat> being here the past you know, three years, you, you see a lot of guys go in and out. You see a lot of coaches go in and out. But one thing that you know we, we've never changed is our, our mentality and our, and our culture. And I think that's something that a lot of people need to understand here um, going forward is that Old Dominion is, 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 is a very good basketball team. We do a lot of things well defensively and offensively, but you, you know, you don't poke the bear because you can be ready. And we, we're going to do it. And, you know, I've always wanted to get another championship after the 2019 year. And so, you know, I think we can with this team. And, you know, we, we showed a lot of resilience tonight, um, you know, coming back from six down. Finishing out the game with this guy, so <clears throat> we've got the pieces, we've got everything we need, and so that I mean, I, I believe in us 110 percent more than anything. Awesome. Personally, uh, ODU has been nothing but great to me. Honestly, you know, I can't thank Coach Jones, you know, enough. Honestly, and I know I'm probably one of the biggest people that get on his nerve. <laughs> he had to tell you himself, but um, just my Nerd Nation has been amazing. My two years here at Old Dominion has been. Unbelievable, you know, to finish out on a night like this is just amazing. You go out with a bang. That's the way you would want to finish your last home game with a, with a smile. You know, everybody happy, good memories. You know, to to reflect back on. Um, hopefully, we, we're going into this tournament with a head of steam, and I couldn't be happier with the people I'm doing it with. Uh, for me, it's a little different. Um, I, it's my first year here. Uh, I didn't have the time at Old Dominion that everyone else had. Uh, this is actually my second senior night. Um, just reflecting on like my last one, you know, I thought it was all over with. And then I got a second chance to come here. And, and coach allowed me to come here and finish my career here. And the guys, even though I came late, they all embraced me. It's just, it's just an overwhelming feeling of emotion. Um, I, couldn't, I couldn't ask for a better group of teammates like, yeah, the media, everyone doesn't understand how close we are. Like we're a real tight knit group. Um, it just feels, it just feels real good, and it's it's like a mixed feeling of of happy and sad that we got the win. But it's you know it's my last game at Chartway.